With all the anticipation surrounding the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight, boxing legends have just shared their bold predictions, adding to all the craze surrounding this bout. Lennox Lewis recently simulated the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight, and it ended devastatingly. He wrote on Instagram, with a gaming simulation of the fight attached, so I hear Mike Tyson will be fighting Jake Paul. Not quite sure how that will go, but it could be something like this. The footage captures the moment when Paul and Tyson confront each other, head on within a virtual UFC simulation, what? engaging in a fierce battle within the confines of the octagon. Gone. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. In the blink of an eye, Paul found his head crashing against the canvas, mere moments passing before Tyson's victorious hand was raised high, marking a relentless knockout that left no doubt of his dominance. Yeah, but does the video game know that this guy is 57 years old or 58? I don't know how old he is. And also, like, I feel like this is going to be a rigged match. I feel like Mike Tyson is going to be, like, holding back. If he sees he's destroying Jake Paul too easily, he's going to hold back. You know, it's like, you can't really... This is not a real fight. That's the problem. For the undisputed UFC heavyweight championship of the world. Iron Mike Tyson has graced the octagon. Tyson is ready to fight. Oh. He hits him down with one hit. That's <laughs> he's like poof, down. All over. I have to think this is going the distance, and he's dead. My mistake. Moreover, Paul's former adversary, Tyron Woodley, concurs with Lewis's simulation, hinting that Tyson will ultimately have the final say. He said, The age is not a factor, that's a wash. Experience level is obviously going to go to Mike Tyson. Yes. If Jake Paul beats Mike, I don't give a f if he's 70. You're going to have to put at least an ounce of respect on his name. Woodley commented that, based on muscle memory alone, Mike Tyson could unleash a combination of moves. Pot Bro, muscle memory alone. You're dodging, you're hitting. The thing is, if he can keep if he can keep up the the cardio, thank you for the subs by the way. If you can keep up the cardio factor, you, Mike Tyson has it, but I don't know how long he can last. That's the thing. Potent enough to severely injure most people, even if he were to do so accidentally. Um, at the end of the day, Mike Tyson just watching the dude hit and pass in the bag. Like I always have this inside joke. They'd be like, how much would you how much would you have to get paid to fight Mike Tyson? I'm like, I'd never be able to spend it. Like, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, he's fighting the person, the one fighter that most people fear. And I feel like 58, 27, the age is not a factor. That's a wash, right? Experience level obviously is going to go to uh, Mike Tyson. How come they're saying age factor is not a, age is not a factor? I'm 34. I swear to God, my knees are going. I got a hip thing going on. I got a back thing going on. Tyson's got 30 years on me almost, man. Like, how is he in perfect health? It doesn't make sense. I got issues. I got a shoulder injury. Like, I, I, I can't go to the gym. Like, like what is going on? But Jake's got a screw loose, man. He emphasized Tyson's extraordinary power, suggesting that Tyson could potentially rearrange someone's internal organs with a sufficiently forceful hit. He said, he has the power and ability to shift organs in your body if he hits you with the right force. So I- Yeah, and one thing I noticed as well is that Mike Tyson, he fights like closed in and he's like one person. He's like, I know it sounds weird what I'm saying, but if you look at Jake Paul and Logan Paul, they fight kind of wide. Like they're taking these wide hits and it's like, they don't know how to punch. Their punching mechanics aren't as efficient as Mike Tyson's. I think he forgot more techniques than Jake Paul has ever learned in his life. Furthermore, Woodley opined that if Jake Paul were to be knocked out by Mike Tyson, regardless of Tyson's age, Paul would simply be joining the vast majority of ordinary people who would suffer the same fate against Tyson. If Jake Paul beat Mike Tyson, I don't give a f he's 70. You're going to have to put a, at least an ounce of respect on his name. Mike Tyson right now, off muscle memory alone, he can have a flashback, right? He can step on the wrong eggshell and let off a combination that can kill most people. No boy. Damn he right. Has the power and ability to shift organs in your body if he hits you with the right force, right? So I think he forgot more technique than Jay Paul has ever learned in his life. UFC welterweight contender Matt Brown believes that stepping into the ring with Tyson at this stage of his career would be a regressive move, contrary to his career's trajectory. Brown said, I think that's probably the biggest thing here. What it's career, bro? What career? Obviously, he's going to get a bag. We're all Jake Paul doesn't have a real boxing career. That's the thing. He's beat some good guys, but he hasn't beat legends. He's not. He's nowhere near a legend, if you ask me.
I know how to fight. Like, I do some Muay Thai. I did uh, some karate when I was a kid. Like, I'm not a pro, but I know what a good fighter looks like. And there's a huge difference between Tyson and Jake Paul, bro. I'm going to watch it. I'm sure Netflix is paying him well. We're all going to watch it. We're going to talk about it. According to Brown, Paul faces a dilemma. I'm watching losing it. Losing to a 60-year-old man would look bad, but so would winning against one, making the situation unfavorable either way. Which so this is an AI voice, unfortunately, bro. Brown personally views as undesirable. Brown further added, Jake is getting that, but it's a lose-lose in actual fighting. You can't lose to a 60-year-old man, and you also can't beat a 60-year-old man. It's a lose-lose. It's garbage to me. Brown elaborated that in his view, Paul is embracing the role of the antagonist or heel in this scenario, aiming to draw viewers who wish to see him defeated. Brown added, Jake, obviously, he's doing that because he wants to be in that position where everybody wants to see him get knocked out, and that's why they're going to watch. He wants to be the heel, but it's a 60-year-old man, and so he's probably going to be able to pull it out. That's an obvious a storyline i don't care if you're 60 all right zade after this video i'll check out your game i swear to god furthermore brown lamented that this upcoming match with tyson is seen as lacking legitimacy and depth essentially dismissing it as unworthy of serious consideration according to brown we know the plot here we know the narrative it's not tyron woodley where we're like if jake's a decent boxer he'll probably win but it's a fucking great athlete he's going against that never boxed this is just fucking garbage this is just straight fucking garbage Meanwhile, Teddy Atlas, the former coach of Mike Tyson, shared his views on the surprising fight involving Jake Paul. It's going to make money. You want me to say more than that? Exactly. That's just it. We should stop talking about this. It's going to make money. And that's it. Thank you for the subs again, boys. You guys are crazy. That's like five subs during this one video. <laughs> Is there a need to say more than that? Moreover, Atlas confessed to becoming a supporter of Jake, crediting this not to insignificant reasons, but to Paul's clear vision. I'm actually a fan of Jake Paul's, and I'll tell you why. The American dream. He had a vision. He had a belief. He went out there. He took all his YouTube, whatever you call those freaking things, all his YouTube followers. He went to a different platform, to a different arena. As I said, he had a vision for what he was going to do. That's Atlas right. noted that Paul did lose to Tommy Fury, but emphasized... Yeah, but it takes balls to do what Jake Paul is doing, even though I don't see a bad outcome for this. If he loses, he loses to Mike Tyson. If he wins, he beat an old Mike Tyson. It still needs recognition. It does take balls to do what he's doing, and that I got to give it to him, right? that the match was competitive. He expressed his respect for Paul's reverence towards boxing, stating that in his 50 years within the sport, he recognized that Paul had not disrespected it, but had instead dedicated himself to training and improvement. Did he put a fake he tattoo on his face though? He had the determination to go out there and color in that vision and um and take risk doing it yeah everyone says he's fighting old guys he's fighting guys that aren't real boxers he's fighting guys that that are boxers but they're not good box i all that he but he's take he has taken risk that's he's right been in there with mm guy mma guys that like i said about engano you know they they might have been a little older at the time uh, they might not have been purely a strike. Obviously, they were UFC champions, but they were champions. They were fighting. We know that Tyson has undergone right. a remarkable transformation in recent times, reclaiming control over his life and fortunes with impressive result. Talking about it, Matt Brown said, I'm surprised Mike even took it. That's what I'm most surprised about. I don't know what Mike is thinking here. What makes him want to do it? I don't think... I think Mike is intrigued by the money. Come on, bro. This guy blew over $600 million in a year. At one point, unless I got my stats wrong, but this guy blew a bunch of money. He probably has money. He's got branding going on. He's got his YouTube channel. He's got podcasts, but bro think he's hurting for money. I don't think he has a huge urge to fight. At this moment, Mike Tyson is pressing pause on everything else to focus on getting fit for his upcoming boxing bout against Paul scheduled for July. Brown is perplexed, unable to comprehend his sudden dedication to this endeavor. Brown added, he talks about it all the time. He doesn't want to be that guy anymore. It's very odd that he's taking the fight. That's the odd part to it's me. It's not Brown odd. passionately supports- He's got fire in his eyes, man. Mike Tyson just wants to fight. And he wants the money. He wants to fight. I don't know. Look, I, don't quote me on this, but Jesus, I'm going to get like people go crazy in the comments when I say stuff. That's crazy.
Paul's participation in high-profile fights against non-boxers, reminiscent of his bouts with Nate Diaz or Ben Askren. However, he fails to comprehend the necessity of squaring off against an opponent who is mere years away. From being classified as a senior citizen, Brown said, I'm all about the sideshows. I'd love to see him fight more sideshows. Go fight Mike Perry, I think that would be awesome. I think that's who he should be fighting. Grab Mike Perry, get Mike Perry a bag. He's obviously a f***ing star in BKFC now. Everybody's talking about him. He would make a great promo guy. Should Paul seek out a challenging showdown? Bro, even someone like McGregor, like if McGregor fought Mike Tyson or Mike Tyson versus someone like The Rock. Imagine The Rock actually wanted to fight for the, for the first time. That would be crazy. Everyone would watch that. This is entertainment. And these guys spar... And they fight. If you've been, if you're a professional athlete and you're constantly sparring with people, you're not afraid to get into the ring and fight. Once you've sparred with people consistently, you're not afraid to take hits, which means you're not afraid to get into a fight. I mean, that's just the way it is. Like, if, if you're not afraid to fight, might as well do it for a bunch of money. With a renowned figure outside the boxing realm, Brown has just the right recommendation in store. And it certainly doesn't involve squaring off against Tyson. Brown believes that we can name a lot of guys like this that would be a perfect matchup. Sideshow matchups. A lot of these. That's Mike right. Tyson I just said it. that. Leave the guy alone. Despite his reluctance to witness it unfold, Brown clings to a sliver of optimism that Tyson is approaching this chance with earnestness, preparing himself for a genuine battle, aiming to knock Paul's head off. Brown said, it's just garbage to me. Again, I don't think it so. really surprised me that Mike Tyson took this fight. I'm not sure what his motivation is. Brown continued, expressing a more extreme wish shared by others. For Mike Tyson to channel the intense energy and aggression of his youth, even suggesting hypothetically that Tyson might resort to performance enhancers. Brown added, but what I hope for, just like I'm sure everybody hopes for, is that Mike Tyson has that young, 20-year-old rage, gets on some f***ing steroids, does some trim, some check drops, and he goes in there and bites f***ing Jake Paul's ear, and knocks him the f*** out, and Jake Paul never wants to box an old man. Look, it's a collaboration, man. He's not going to beat the crap out of Jake Paul, man. Also, subscribe to Fighter's Corner if you haven't already. This is a really good channel, but I do feel like it's an AI voice. So if you're against that, and subscribe to my channel. Nothing is AI about my channel, except for I got a bot that's like AI, but whatever. Man, again. In a recent episode of his podcast, Podcast P with Paul George, Paul George engaged in a spirited discussion with his fellow hosts before unveiling his forecast for the upcoming bout. The boxing community finds itself sharply divided over this prediction. I want to fight somebody. Iron Mike. I'm just, I'm, hey, I'm not going against Mike Tyson. Me I'm neither. neither. I Mike just... Tyson is one of those guys that you see his name. I'm voting Mike, Mike Tyson. <laughs> I'm going for Mike Tyson. While numerous enthusiasts favor the youthful 27-year-old Paul to emerge victorious, citing his age advantage despite his limited experience, there remains a steadfast contingent unwilling to wager against Mike Tyson. There exists a striking disparity in age between the two pugilists. Yet, Paul George Good remains night, Dylan. steadfast in his belief that age ought not to wield influence. I don't care the age gap. Like Bro, if I'm 60 years old and I look like Mike Tyson and I fight like Mike Tyson, I am so down. This is crazy. Hey. He's he take it serious. Though. Actually, fighting a boxer, like he's not fighting a MMA guy. He's not fighting a, a wrestler. He's not fighting an entertainer. He's fighting a boxer. I don't care how old the difference, the age gap is. He's fighting a boxer. In a notable incident from 2022, Tyson didn't hold back in critiquing Jake Paul's fighting style, hinting that he'd step into the ring himself if he were in peak condition. Tyson said, Jake's punches you can see coming a mile away. You can see that coming a mile away. I'm 55. I can see that coming a mile away. Tyson okay, I, about the punches coming a mile away. I, I You look at the punching. Mike Tyson is is locked in. His, 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 his fists are close. And when he's punching, it's like, boom, cover, boom, recover. You look at Jake Paul, it's it's like he's going so wide and he's he's leaving so many, so many, he's leaving so much space for counterattack. It's it's just like he doesn't know how to how to punch. Look, it, it, even his brother's worse. His brother's worse, but man, it's just crazy. Jason further added, I would beat these 
I'd go straight at them. There would be no boxing. The only thing I gotta do is be in shape. Meanwhile, in an interesting turn of events, Mike Tyson's fleeting observation of Jake Paul's sparring session lasted a mere half minute before he abruptly exited the scene. According to trainer Freddie Roach, Tyson didn't hesitate to exit the ring just moments after the bout commenced in 2022. Roach said, Tyson looked at him and left. He watched 30 seconds of him sparring and left. He said, Freddie, can we go downstairs and look at the pictures? That's my gym. And he knows that- Because Tyson, bro, he knows what a good Good boxer is he has experience man this is crazy mike tyson's gonna destroy this guy he's just gonna take him down it's, it's not even it's not even funny that's where the good pictures are he wasn't as interested as i was he further commented on paul describing him as an average club level fighter exactly added, paul is okay a club fighter i don't know him personally and i've never really met him he was in my gym and wondered if they could use the ring and i said go ahead meanwhile paul had plenty to say about those claims and suggested that tyson had never actually seen him in action in the first place speaking to talk sport he said first and foremost i saw these things that freddie roach was saying that i was sparring at his gym paul firmly stated that he had never trained at roach's gym and went on to criticize Roach, labeling him as mistaken and disparaging him as a detractor who no longer trains any notable fighters. He added, first of all, I've never even trained at Wildcard Gym. Freddy is a f***ing idiot. He's a hater. He literally trains zero good fighters anymore and is a Jake Paul hater. Mike Tyson has never watched me spar. Mike Tyson has never been in the gym at the same time as me sparring. Additionally, Paul asserted that Mike Tyson had never observed him sparring and had never even been in the gym simultaneously with him. He said, I went to Wildcard once to talk to somebody for for a meeting and for my brother's press conference there. But Mike Tyson wasn't anywhere in the vicinity, so it's just Freddie Roach spreading rumors. Despite initial reservations about Jake Paul's skills, Tyson seems to have shifted his perspective. With the announcement of their upcoming bout this summer, the seasoned fighter expressed genuine anticipation. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos.